Okay, what's up guys, it's uh, Turner here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say um, the reason I was not uploading uh, last week or pretty much last weekend was my uh, birthday. Um, kind of didn't get to upload that weekend for obvious reasons. You're out having fun on your birthday. Um, I'm not going to sit home and upload some videos. Not that, not that that's not fun, that is, I do enjoy it. Uh, but what happened last week was my house... Uh, I used to have my computer up in my, uh, kind of by my kitchen. It was just a little overhang, um, or there was a little wall separating it. But pretty much anything that went on in my house, you could hear. So I was only able to upload uh, when nobody was home or when the house was completely silent. And then I would have to worry about somebody coming out and going, da, 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 or whatever. Going to get some ice, you'd hear that. I'm sure you've heard that if you watch me frequently. But now this will hopefully eliminate the problem. I also will be getting a new computer, or not, ugh, well, a new computer eventually, um, still trying to pick out, pick out parts and stuff, but I'm getting to get a new keyboard, so you will not hear this. I've talked to a few people, um, they say it's very silent, uh, so that is good, I need a silent keyboard, <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the tutorial, I don't need that much of an introduction, uh, basically what this tutorial will be about is how you get, uh, colors and an image in your message of the day. So this is your message of the day. This is the image they recently added in 1.7. And then this is a uh, a little, um, uh, your message of the day actually, like what it what it actually is. So I will show you how to do that. Um, but first let's do the image. You're gonna want it to be 64 pixels by 64. You can use GIMP, uh, Photoshop, uh, Paint.net, Paint. Uh, might not be able to use Paint actually. Because I don't think you can save that as uh, uh, PNG. So I'm not sure about that, but any of the other ones I listed will should be okay. So let's just do uh, hit enter or continue. I'm just going to make something quick. Let's make it. I'll just make it like the same thing as I did last video. So let's make it that black color. And let's just make it say MCPT. Dun dun, and that's good. Uh, let's make it. I'll make it like exact. Actually, I'll make it. I'll make it go gold this time. So outer glow. Obviously, you can spend as much time as you want on this. Uh, I'm doing it fast and quick because I don't need to. This is a tutorial for you guys. Uh, let's add a little bit of a gradient. Give it that little pop or whatever. That looks like shit, but whatever. <laughs> um, let's go to the gradient tool and let's add uh, a little gradient to it. Oh shit, that's all. It's a little lot gradient. Bump this down quite a bit. Let's flip horizontally. Now, let's see, I don't even think that made a difference, but so let's add this little last little thing will be this. I doubt this will look good, but again, this is just a little test one kind of thing. Um, you can do whatever you want. Um, it looks like crap, but there. Let's just, okay, say that's my image I want. And that line's bugging me. So say that's the image you want um, for your server. It's like, move that up. Got them so whatever that whatever that's called. You got to be like perfect. Uh, so save it as you're gonna want to save it as server uh, dash icon. I already have one saved, so that's what it is. And make sure it's a dot png. Um, so in Photoshop, you have to go down here uh, to format, and you have to select png. If you just put a dot png and it's saving it as a PSD, it'll put it server property or server dash icon dot png dot PSD. <laughs> You need a PNG, so you need to go down and select PNG down here. Um, I'm sure you need to do that with some other uh, GIMP, uh, Paint.net. Just make sure you do that because it will not work if it's uh, JPEG or any other format. So save that. Um, yes. So let's go down there. That server actually should be off right now. Yep. Okay, so there's that. Now these, uh, I'll get to that in one second. So we have our server icon so right here 
Now we need to change the color. So go to your server.properties. Go all the way down to the bottom. And it would say, uh, that's what it would normally say. Um, but we're going to show you how to get this with color. So let's make it uh, colored. A colored message of the day um, and then we'll do next line to show you how to do that now these are the format codes normally uh, with anything else in game everything or like if you have essentials or any other plugin you type and say one for dark blue now in this message of the day you have to type uh, this slash or backslash U zero zero a seven, that takes the place of the and sign, and I'm not I'm not sure why they did that. Uh, maybe it's easier, or maybe that's the code for that certain symbol. But that's pretty much what you have to do. Now I'll leave this in the description so you can just copy and paste if you'd like. So let's do this. So let's make it uh, purple. I'm just going to do some random stuff. So just copy that, put it right there. Make sure it's the forward or backward slash. Or if you put forward slash, it will not work. If you don't put a slash, it will not work. Um, so let's say a uh, colored. Let's make colored like uh, pink. No. Blue. Let's make colored blue. Then I need to put again uh, the gold after or the uh, purple. After that, otherwise it will just stay. Um, blue and then let's make the message of the day bold so I'll go down and get bold which is bold right here um, and if you don't know what italics is it's the little sideways line if you don't know what up the obscopulated is that's where it's got the line that's like squealing around really fast and just goes through all the characters um, so let's do that and then we'll, we'll do the reset because otherwise it will have that whole thing bold including that uh, exclamation point and we do not want that and let's go grab uh, purple or what I do uh, purple again so I know <laughs> I know that seems that's a lot more usually that's uh, a lot more you have to type than usually um, for it but pretty much that that's red it's making or not red that's making the a purple uh, that's making the colored uh, blue that is making uh, the next uh, so after you do a color you have to overwrite that color otherwise the whole thing will be like blue again so this is just making it um, again purple and then the bold so that's bold it's gonna reset with the R and then it's gonna bring that exclamation point as uh, purple so the next line let's just make uh, we'll do underline or something I don't know All right uh, we'll do underline and to get the next line you have to do um, backslash n to signify a new line so let's save that and uh, open up this and start the server so I hope this is good um, <laughs> my mic I will be getting a new keyboard like I said uh, so it should be a lot more quiet so there we go so yep that looks like total poop but uh, <laughs> but here you go so it made I made it purple so a colored message of the day I made the uh, colored part blue well that's really cyan um, yeah that's cyan and lighter blue yeah okay um, so basically that's how you do it uh, you can make all sorts so any of these servers that have it they either use a plugin or you can do that I mean I don't know why you'd use a plugin when you could just basically use this which I will not be using a plugin anymore because I did not even know you could do this until quite recently um so thank you for the the view I guess <laughs> if you need anything uh, just feel free to PM me add me on Skype uh, I think my Skype's like on my YouTube I can help you with whatever you need. Uh, you want a certain plugin done? Um, I will do that. Uh, uh, I guess. I mean, <laughs> don't know what else to say much besides the server. Uh, what am I say with server? Uh, 
the drug part done, creative, 80% done, arcade, 20% done. Um, arcade will not take as long. Yeah, I know I just said it was 20% done. Um, what I'm hoping to is, this is the 25th, I believe, yep. I'm hoping to get it, uh, to get everything kind of ready to, like, be, to ready, like, to buy a machine on, like, February 1st. That's what I'm kind of aiming for, and that's what I hope we can get. Uh, obviously got a lot of work this week, but I think we can do it because it's, uh, not, not quite honestly that much. Uh, so thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, need anything again, PM me. I can help you want a certain plugin done. I'll do that. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next video.